Welcome back to Virginia This Morning, live right here on CBS 6. We are delighted to be joining you today from Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. This time we are in the Rose Garden. For those who have visited before, you know how special this space is. For those of you who have not ventured out to the garden, come on out and soak it up because it's in full regalia right now. We're checking in today for a few updates on some exciting activities, coming back to the garden, getting going in the garden, and to meet the brand new president and CEO, Brian Trader. He's right here with us. Brian, it is wonderful to meet you. Welcome to Richmond. Well, welcome back. Thank you so much. It's, and thank you so much for Virginia this morning being here with us today to celebrate the Rose Garden and all things nature. Brian, this is a beautiful time of year. We were talking earlier before the show began about how wonderful this spring has been, certainly in comparison to last year. You've got so many things on the horizon and the garden is really ready to celebrate. We truly are. One of the things that's just been so refreshing to see our community back in the garden and, and celebrating with us as the governor has uh, released some of those restrictions and some of the mandates. Uh, we're thrilled to be uh, welcoming more of our community and to be ramping up some of our programs for our guests. Brian, for everybody who hasn't met you yet before, let's get a little background. Where are you joining us from here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden and, and Virginia's home? Sure. So I'm originally from the eastern shore of Virginia, so the Delmarva Peninsula. And most recently, I'm coming back to Virginia from uh, the Delaware Beach area. I helped open one of America's newest public gardens, uh, Delaware Botanic Gardens. Some wonderful things going and interesting to be able to bring those perspectives here to the Richmond area. You mentioned those synergies. We're going to talk a little bit about that with programming, but that's really important to you, Brian. Absolutely. We want to ensure that our garden is welcome for everyone. We want everyone to see themselves resembled in the garden, and we want to be a valuable resource for the community. You know, our the citizens of Richmond take such great pride in their city and in the region, and we want them to take great pride in the cultural institutions within the region. And of course, we hope that Lewis Ginter Botanical or Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden is one of those. You know, we've had the opportunity. I met Brian just a few weeks ago. There was a special event here at the Garden Splendor in the Garden. The tulips were in full regalia. Of course, now the roses are here and gorgeous. And that's what's so amazing is that it just continues. The waves just continue coming forward. Sure. So, um, you know, if you visited a couple of weeks ago, it looks completely different now. Um, and I think a lot of people think of our garden during the holidays with our, our Garden Festa lights. Uh, but we are a beautiful garden all year round. And so if you come uh, in the next couple of weeks, you'll see the beautiful roses in bloom. Uh, but come another month later and you'll see something completely different. Uh, so it's just a beautiful garden all year round. We're going to talk now with Ellen Parker about the activities that are coming up beginning tomorrow. And you guys can do just a, a choreographed do -si do over here. Ellen, we're excited. The garden has continued to host events during this time that we've been. A lot of folks have depended on that. They've done it in different ways. You know, we're still wearing masks. Can you talk us through a little bit about what it looks like to visit the garden right now? Sure. We've got uh, really this year, uh, nature is our canvas and that is the art that is on display. Like you said, it's constantly changing. Uh, we are open. We've got lots of room for people to spread out and socially distance. We are still requiring masks inside. If you're outside, um, you know, we're working through that. But if you can't socially distance, we are asking folks to keep their masks on. But lots and lots of things to see starting tomorrow night. Wednesday's alfresco will be open until till nine, uh, flowers after five with music starting in June. Um, and then this weekend we have uh, the Latin Ballet uh, performing here against this gorgeous backdrop. And you heard that correctly, the beautiful, talented dancers, the Latin Ballet right here in the Rose Garden. So events that are one of a kind, and as Brian said, synergies with organizations here in our community that really allow both to be showcased. Absolutely. We really wanted to amplify our Richmond's creative community. We're such an amazing art city, and this is just such a beautiful place to be. So we've got the Latin Ballet, two performances this weekend on Saturday. We've got currently some artists in residence, and then we also have poetry with River City Poets happening this Sunday. So all kinds of beautiful, creative ways to kind of get that nexus of art and nature and the healing and restorative powers that that kind of beautiful combination brings. And I'm glad you bring that up. I'm going to ask Brian here so we can do -si do again about this, this exhibit that's going on right now. It takes a team. The whole team works to do this. But let's talk about the M&T uh, Bank Restore, the healing power of nature and what this means for the community. Sure. Well, we know over the past year, so many of us have been cooped up in our houses, in our living rooms, in our kitchens. And so 
this is a great opportunity to leverage the beauty that we have here in the garden and to welcome the community and to partner with some really creative artists, uh, Eunicia Buster and... Um, Help me with our Alfonso Perez Acosta. <laughs> yes. And so, um, you know, we're featuring their art, their creativity here in the garden, and we're allowing them to celebrate that with our guests. There are artists and residents. So M&T Bank um, Restore is the healing power of nature. As Ellen said, we're really leveraging the beauty of the garden, letting that be the campus and letting people to come out and heal after such a challenging year. Absolutely. And and Wednesday's Alfresco, a great opportunity to do that. Again, that's kicking off tomorrow evening. You do have to pre-purchase tickets. That is one thing that is uh, consistent over the last year, but a change from how things were before is that tickets are pre-sale. That's correct. So we're asking uh, all of our guests to uh, book online in advance. And um, we did, we're, um, members do not have to do that. Uh, another event that we're going to be having coming online, as um, Ellen mentioned in June, is our Flowers After Five. And I know that you have a dog and I have a dog. And so one way to celebrate the gardens with your uh, furry pets, your dogs, uh, we have Fido's After Five, which um, starting in June through September will be the second and fourth Thursday of the month. Yeah. Beans came to Fido's after five last year. He was a huge fan. It got the paw of approval in a major way from both of us. Great food, great setting. Brian, it's wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much for uh, being here today. It's, it's absolutely our pleasure. Ellen, wonderful to Thank see you. you. Thank you. Thanks for getting all of these incredible activities together here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. We're going to share some information. This year's overall theme is healing. M&T Bank Restore the Healing Power of Nature. There really is so much to see and do here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden, including that special presentation this weekend on Saturday, May 15th, 1 p.m. Latin Ballet of Virginia presents Mystica World Mythology Come to Life with an encore performance at 2. On Sunday the 16th, the River City Poets will host poetry reading in the Flagler Garden on the lawn there at 2 p.m. And don't forget that Wednesday's Alfresco kicks off tomorrow and there's so much more. Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden, 1800 Lakeside Avenue in Richmond. For the information, you can call 804-262-9887. Visit online, lewisginter.org. And of course, on facebook.com slash lewisginter.